Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is going to be a collab. I'm so excited. I'm collabing with another creator by the name of Emily. Her channel name is Makeup by Blowfish. Uh, I will definitely have her channel linked in the description box. Please go check her out. She is so much fun to watch. Um, she and I connected on here within the last couple of months and I just absolutely adore and love Emily. She's from Sweden. She does some wonderful makeup looks, uh, skincare videos, makeup hauls, fashion try-ons, and she also has the most beautiful little girl. I'm just madly in love with her, and I tell her all the time that I want to be her Oregon grandma. Um, Emily got a hold of me last week and said that she really wanted to do a collab, and I said, of course. I instantly agreed. Uh, we talked about different ideas for videos, and we decided to go ahead and do a palette bingo, and the palette that we have have in common is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. And I have the random number generator app in my phone, so I got to pick our color story for the look today. Um, and I'm going to show that to you right now. Uh, this shade was picked first, number two, this kind of uh, yellowy matte that's got the little sparklies that just kind of fly off your lid, but I do really like the shade. Um, and then I picked number nine, which is this kind of uh, cool toned olivey brown color. Uh, then I picked number five, which is this kind of gold coppery shimmer that I adore in this palette. And then I picked number seven, which is this kind of light taupe uh, brown shade. And then I picked uh, number eight, which is this dark brown matte. So very matte heavy look, but I'm really excited to create with this. And I just love this palette. I love grungy color stories and I haven't used this palette in a while. I've used it three or four times and just love it so much. And um, we also talked about different things that we could discuss while we were creating our eye look. And we decided to talk about hobbies that are non makeup related. So things we like to do in our free time that have nothing to do with makeup. So if you're interested to see the look I come up with, with the Nomad by Juvia's Place palette, our little palette bingo, and also hear about my non-makeup related hobbies, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with this palette bingo using the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place. I've already done all of my face makeup that will all be in the description box. I've done my brows. I've primed my eyelids with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01 that was a gift from my beautiful soul sister, Steph, not your basic Steph. And I also wanted to talk about something else I used in this look today. This is the Glowing in Grease blush and highlighter palette from BH Cosmetics. This was a birthday gift from my soul sister, Dee Dee. Thank you so much, my dear. I had great plans to you like do a video with... Uh, products I got for my birthday and it's now the end of August and my birthday was July 12th so that time has come and gone so I decided to go ahead and pull this out and use it today. Um, I'm going to open this very carefully because my cat Reggie knocked this off my counter like he always does and this little highlighter shade cracked so I'm going to have to repress that. But in today's look I use this blush that's called uh, Peros and I use this highlighter called Athens and it's such a beautiful palette. I love BH Cosmetics and uh, yeah I'm going to get a lot of use out of this so thank you Dee Dee. I love you sweetheart. All right, so let's get started with our look. Again, I'm using the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here. I'm gonna use this little Luxie brush and just get going on my look. And like I said, Emily and I uh, talked about uh, different things that we could discuss while we were doing our look, and we thought we'd just share our un-makeup related hobbies with you guys. So get ready. <laughs> It's really not that exciting, honestly. I'm really interested to hear what Emily's uh, hobbies are because I'm sure they're a lot more fun than mine are. I have like an inner old lady. <laughs> I do a lot of like um, crafty type uh, hobbies. For instance, um, I really love to cross stitch. Um, I've been cross stitching since I was probably, well, I started cross stitching shortly after Sydney was born and she's 22. So uh, yeah, I've been doing that for a long time. We used to live in Wyoming where it snows like 90% of the year. And so I had to kind of learn how to do something like at home that would keep my mind occupied. And I really like to do hobbies that are kind of like mindless that you just kind of do and you're just kind of absorbed in the task and you're not like thinking about the world's problems. I just really like to do things like that. So yeah, I cross stitch. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but I love, love, love to cross stitch. It's so much fun. And I have like tons of cross stitching books and patterns and the threads and the looms. And when I have a hobby, I go all in. Like if you saw my eyeshadow palette collection videos, you're like, yeah, we know. But yeah, I just go for it. I don't just get like a couple things. I get like 900 of them. Um, I also love to color. Uh, I have about, I don't know, 
tons of pen sets, like gel pen sets are like, you know, metallic and glittery and um, like pastels. And I just love that. I get them off Amazon, uh, Walmart, Target. And I have this huge plastic bin uh, that I got at Walmart that's full of like adult coloring books. Uh, you know, I have all different kinds, flowers, designs, animals, I mean, everything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I really like to color for like friends and family. Um, I like to do that for just fun. Uh, and it's really funny because my, at my in-law's house, my, my mother and father-in-law have pictures that I've colored for them up on the wall in their house. It's really cute. I love to do crossword puzzles. Uh, I've done those forever. We have like this uh, magazine, or not magazine, like little newspaper that comes out uh, once a week here and it's got a crossword puzzle in it. And I always do the crossword puzzle. I like race to the store so I can get it out of the little bin and, and do my crossword. <laughs> I did it last night, actually. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know, kind of dorky hobbies, but um, those are the things I like to do. Uh, I also like to do what's called quilling, which is a paper artwork. It comes with like little paper strips uh, that have like um, little tools that you like put one end of the paper strip and like you coil it up and then you like remove it from the little tool and then you can like shape the paper into different shapes and make things out of it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but um, if you go on Pinterest and you type in quilling, if you're interested, it'll show you all kinds of different uh, designs that you can do with uh, quilling. It's fun. I love movies. Uh, I'm really into like scary movies, uh, suspense thrillers. Um, and then now I'm going to go into this shade here, uh, this little kind of light brown shade. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Silence of the Lambs is my absolute all-time favorite movie. I'm obsessed with Anthony Hopkins. If I could meet him, I would be so happy. I just think he's such a great actor and I just love him. I just, I don't know what it is about him, but I just think he's a superb human being. He might be a real jerk in real life, I don't know, but I just love him. And uh, I really like, you know, most, all the movies I've ever really seen him in I love, but Silence of the Lambs, boy, I've seen that probably, I don't know, a hundred times. I can basically quote the whole thing. Um, but I also like, you know, comedies and dramas and, um, I really like uh, documentaries. Uh, my husband and I actually have been watching a ton of documentaries lately. And then we did watch a scary movie last night called The Void, which was awful. <laughs> At first I thought it was gonna be like the super scary movie and I was all excited because I'm like, you know, they don't make good scary movies anymore. And then as it went on, we were like, do we wanna finish this? <laughs> but we did. It, I mean, it was okay, but it was just stupid. And I like like 80s comedies, like 16 Candles, Breakfast Club. Um, I'm trying to think, Pretty in Pink, uh, some kind of wonderful, like those kind of like teeny bopper 80s movies. I love those too. And I also, I sound, it sounds kind of weird to say this, but I'm very interested in like true crime, um, which I know that sounds kind of morbid, but I don't know. It's just, I have a degree in psychology and I've always been very interested in like how the human mind works, especially like the criminal mind and just like what causes people to do some of the bizarre, awful things they do. Isn't that horrible of me? <laughs> I don't know, I've just always really been into true crime. So now I'm gonna go into this shade here, the yellow with the sparklies, and I'm gonna put that down towards the front part of my transition area. So I really like to like read like true crime novels. Um, I like true crime documentaries. Um, let's see, I love true crime, crime, um, true crime, true crime podcasts. I listened to one that's called Sword and Scale, which is really good. So if like you're interested in, you know, true crime podcast and you've never heard of that, I highly recommend checking that out. Um, there's also a channel on YouTube that I watch called That Chapter, which Steph, not your basic Steph, she uh, told me about that and I love that. Usually in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, I'll like watch a makeup video and then I'll watch a That Chapter. Um, he's just, a, I'm, I'm gonna link his uh, channel in my description box. He's just a really kind of quirky, funny guy. Um, but he's also, you know, very sensitive to the subject matter that he's talking about. Um, but he has a lot of really interesting cases uh, or crimes, I guess, on his uh, channel. So I really enjoy that. Um, let's see here. I love to read. Uh, avid reader, although I haven't really been reading much lately, which I really want to get back in the habit of reading because I just love to read. And I love like primarily like nonfiction um, there's a couple authors, British authors, that I just love. One is by the name of Mark Billingham. He has like a series of uh, like cop crime novels that I just love. He's such a good author. And uh, 
he hasn't written anything. Or actually, no, I think he does have a new book out. I need to check into that. And then there's another British author. Her name is Mo Hader, um, H-A-Y-D-E-R. She is amazing. I love her books. I was really into reading her books and then she quit writing. So I don't, I don't know if she's going to, I don't know if she's done or I don't, I don't know. But uh, I would love to read some more of her novels because I just think they're amazing. I'm going to go back into the shade and just kind of, I don't know, blend that out a little bit. Um, just kind of towards the, my brow area. So yeah, I, uh, and I like like drama, like uh, courtroom drama type books. Um, oh, another podcast I love is one called Court Junkie. Um, her voice drives me a little batty. It's kind of like nails on a chalkboard. But she does have really cool court cases that she talks about on her podcast. And um, that's a really good one too. If you're into like courtroom drama type podcasts, I would definitely check out Court Junkie. Um, just know that, I, I don't know, her voice just makes me crazy, but whatever. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go into this shade here, this gold shimmer, and put that down on my lid. <laughs> I love this shimmer. And I mentioned in another video that I am out of setting spray. I need to get some. So I'm, I don't think this really has a lot of fallout in it, but we'll see. And if it does, I can clean it up. It's not the end of the world. Um, oh God, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love, 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 love Juvia's Place shimmers. I mean, if it were legal, I would marry him. And then my husband and I, we love to spend time together and we like to go for walks. We usually go for walks on Fridays and Saturday nights, but like I have today off, today's Friday. And so we went for a walk last night. And um, a couple of summers ago, we kind of got into the um, hobby of herping, which is like following amphibians or reptiles. Uh, it just kind of happened. Uh, we live near a area where there's a bunch of like houses being built, like construction site type thing. And a couple summers ago, they were just starting to build. So now it's basically full of houses. But at the time, there was hardly any houses there. And they just like build the roads and the sidewalks. So it was nice because there was really nobody over there. So we just kind of go walk. It's, I don't know, about a mile or two away from where we live. So we just kind of walk, do this like big circle and come home. And we noticed that there were all these salamanders like all over the sidewalk and on the streets. And the sad thing was, is that um, the majority of them had been run over by cars because, you know, people can't see them when they're driving. And they're so cute. They're actually rough skinned newts. Uh, my husband has done some research and that's what they are, but we call them salamanders. And they're just adorable. I love them. So we started like saving salamanders. Um, we would just pick them up and go carry them like way back out into like the field where no houses had been built yet. Or there was this like dip in this field and it had filled with water, like a little pot, makeshift pond. And so we'd like take these plastic containers and like fill them up. I mean, I'm not talking like five or 10, I'm talking like a hundred salamanders. And we'd take them out to this like makeshift pond and just let them go. Well, one time <laughs> we were walking and, um, we noticed that there were just tons, and I mean tons, of smashed salamanders. And my husband's like, oh, that's it. I gotta, we gotta save them. So he went and got these two big uh, empty like Dutch Brothers cups that were left on the side of the road. And we just started stuffing salamanders into these cups. I think we each had like 20 in our cups. And we actually ended up bringing them all the way back to our house. And we let them go in the backyard. Because <laughs> we were just so sad that all of these little salamanders, little carcasses were all over the street it was horrible and uh they didn't stay in our backyard they took off uh, now i'm going to go into this dark brown shade here and i'm going to put that kind of down uh towards the outer part of my lid outer v i'm so horrible at describing parts of my lid you guys are probably like yeah we know we know <laughs> been there done that um so anyway but yeah it was just so sad that they were dying um, so we tried to save as many as we could, but like I said, they didn't, they didn't hang out too long in our backyard. So yeah, those are just kind of the things I like to do. Um, I also really enjoy music. Um, I have kind of a wide variety of tastes in music. Um, I love like seventies and eighties music, uh, like seventies folk music. Janice Ian, uh, is one of my absolute favorite singer songwriters. I love her. She's amazing. I grew up listening to her. My mom loved her. So she's always going to be very near and dear to my heart. Um, I love 80s rock. Um, I like hip hop. I like some rap. I like um, older country, not really newer country, only because 
they all sound the same to me, the country singers nowadays. I, I can't tell them apart, so I don't ever, ever know who I'm listening to. Um, and I like um, some heavy metal. Um, I also like some a couple Scandinavian groups. Um, Heilung and Wardruna are the names of the bands. Uh, Nikki Raven and I have talked about those bands a couple times together, and I don't know if they're bands or groups or exactly what you call them, but they're amazing. And uh, I would love to see them like live. They're incredible. They have some really cool like videos on YouTube that we've watched and they're so great. And that kind of music is wonderful like to clean the house too. I love it like if I'm home by myself and I'm cleaning, I just crank Wardruna on the TV. I love it. Um, and my husband really likes those groups too. Um, and I love, you know, I, I love all different kinds of music. I was really into Enya when I was in college. Um, I used to love to go to concerts, which I would love to start going again um, once, you know, things are a little bit more settled with COVID. Um, I have seen, let's see, Bruno Mars was probably my favorite concert I've ever been to. I've been to De Depeche Mode, which I love. Um, they're one of my favorite groups too. And I, you know, I love to spend time with my kids. Um, they don't live with me anymore, which is not easy for me. <laughs> Miss my babies. But um, yeah, I like to spend time with my kids. And, uh, you know, my daughter's getting married in a month, so it's really exciting and there's a lot of planning going on. I'm going to go back into this shade here, this olive uh, brown shade, and just kind of blend that darker shade out a little bit. She's just so funny how she is about, you know, planning things and how independent she is and how it's kind of like her way or the highway. It's just, it's great. But she's very kind about it. She's very sweet. She's not a bridezilla. She's wonderful. Um, but, you know, like... <laughs> I say, why don't you do this? She's like, no, no, thanks mom, but no, <laughs> it's funny. Um, and then Brayden, my son, he's working at a bakery and loves it and just moved into a new townhouse apartment. And I took him and got him some stuff for his apartment and got him all settled there. And yeah, so, you know, they're both doing great, but I do miss spending time with them. They're really fun people to hang out with. Like if they weren't my kids, I'd still want to hang out with them. They're just, my son is so funny. He's hysterical. I uh, just love him so much. Oh, I mean, I love my daughter too, but he's just something else. He just, I can't be around him and not just laugh hysterically the whole time. It's just, it's wonderful. I so enjoy it. And my daughter and I are the same way. You know, we've actually almost been kicked out of stores before for laughing, <laughs> like, and writing on the carts. And uh, I'm not always my at my most mature when I'm with my children. Great, huh? Um... But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a homebody. I really like to be home. Um, I love to spend time with my husband. And uh, we just do, I don't know, we, we like to go out to dinner sometimes. I mean, we were doing that a lot more, obviously, before COVID hit. Um, we like to go out to dinner. Um, I'm putting a little bit more of that yellow shade down. Um, like I said, we go for walks. There's actually, there's some really nice ponds around here, too, that we like to go walk at. There's like ducks and geese and like nutria and turtles and... Um, just beautiful, lush, like trees and bushes and greenery. It's really fun. I love to do that with him. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm a pretty simple, easygoing person. Um, I'm not really into like risky, crazy activities like, you know, skydiving or <laughs> anything like that. Um, but yeah, I just, I really like to be home. Um, and I work, you know, full time. And so, you know, my husband and I, our time is kind of limited because, you know, we only get to see each other for like a few hours in the evening and then on the weekends. So yeah, we like to spend as much time together as we can. And I'm just going to go back over with that light taupey uh, brown shade and just kind of blend that out a little bit more. And then I think I'm getting almost done. I cannot wait to see Emily's look. I can't wait because she's really good with colors. Like, I mean, she's good with every color, but I've seen her create some looks with like grungier palettes that I thought were just stunning. And, uh, I know this is kind of a, obviously a more neutral palette, but I just love it. I think it's really fun, really, really fun to use. And I think too, what I'm gonna do real quick before I uh, add the finishing touches, is I am gonna use my finger, <laughs> like I don't ever do that. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the rim of that darker matte, just cause it's kind of harsh looking to me. So yeah, I mean, you know, as you can tell, I am, like I said, I have an inner old woman that loves to do, you know, old woman things. Like, <laughs> I, I used to crochet, too, and I really would like to crochet again. That's such a fun, fun thing to do. I, like I said, I just really like to do things that are kind of mindless, that you don't have to put a lot of thought into. You can just kind of zone out and do it, which I, I just, I don't know. I just really like doing that kind of stuff. And, um, I don't know. 
it might sound kind of boring and dorky and maybe I am and I, that's okay I'm okay with that um you know I used to be a lot more spontaneous and uh I wouldn't say wild but I was a lot more spontaneous in my youth and as I've gotten older I'm just too tired <laughs> to do a lot of you know crazy stuff and uh I don't know my husband and I are just pretty simple easy going folk and that's just what we like to do is just hang out and watch a good true crime documentary. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm done with my look. I'm gonna clean things up a little bit, add some liner, mascara, lipstick, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back and this is the finished look. I love how this look turned out and it was so much fun to use the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place for our palette bingo. I am so excited to see Emily's look. I cannot wait to watch her video. Uh, let's go over the shades I used again quickly. Uh, I used this middle row here and then these two shades on the outer edges and I just love this palette. Grungy Color Stories are my absolute favorite and this is one of my absolute favorite Juvia's Place palettes. Actually, it's one of my favorite palettes, period. And it's just such an easy palette to use. There's not a lot of guesswork. All of these shades shades go really well together so yeah I mean I could have chosen anything I think it would have turned out really nice um, and I also wanted to go over a few other things that I used for the finished look today uh, for my lips I used the liquid rouge metal lipstick from Cara Beauty I did a video a few videos back where I lip swatched five of these shades if you haven't seen that I highly recommend checking it out and uh, yeah these are just really nice uh, liquid lipsticks to use however they do not come off easily like I'm gonna have this on all day like into the evening no doubt I can eat drink, run a marathon, swim the ocean, and this is not coming off at all. Um, for my mascara, I use the Ico uh, Rockout and Lash Out uh, Mascara in the shade Beatnik Black. Uh, I've used this a few times on my channel. I love this mascara. I got it in an Ipsy, and I really enjoy it. For my lower waterline, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Gold Plated. These are really nice. They last really well in the waterline, and I thought the gold would look good with the eye look. And then for my upper lid, I use the L'Oreal Paris. This is the 12-hour infallible super slim liquid eyeliner in the shade Brown. This has got a really fine, nice tip on it, and it just goes on the lid very easily. I, I don't think that it lasts for 12 hours, but I mean, it lasts long enough. I'm not complaining. Um, and it's very affordable, so if you're into like really thin uh, tipped eyeliners. I highly recommend picking these up. Thank you guys so much for watching our collab video today. Like I said, I cannot wait to see Emily's video. Uh, I'm going to definitely have her channel linked in my description box. Please do yourself a favor, go to her channel, subscribe and watch her. I absolutely love Emily and I know you will too. And I also hope you enjoyed listening to my non makeup related hobbies. There is an old lady dork that lives inside of me and I just love her to pieces. And as I was putting on like the finishing touches, I was thinking about how strange it must sound like on one hand, I cross stitch and color and on the other hand, I listen to crazy true crime podcasts and watch true crime documentaries like totally dichotomy here but I guess I need to have a little bit of dark and a little bit of light in my life I don't know but anyway thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to watch my video it always means the world to me if you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe please do not forget to hit the notification bell that way you're aware of all of my future uploads I cannot wait to see you guys again on my next video but in the meantime please take care of yourself be well safe happy and I hope to see you soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye.